Now it's your turn to find out all the factors of any given number. So um, when, when you're doing this, it's, it's nice to have uh, an idea of, all, of an, an idea of, um, of prime numbers. So so here, two is a prime number, three is a prime number. Try try to remember the uh, these ones here. Um, if if you don't know or if you want to know more, then go on the internet and uh, punch this in in uh, into the search engine list of prime numbers. But um but try to remember the first few. So uh, two would be a prime number, three is a prime number, and so on. All these here are prime numbers. Okay. So so let's let's uh, I, I will do the first example, and then uh, you can do uh, the two after that. So find out all the um, all the factors of of 1950 now now even though i'm asking you uh, the, even though the question is saying find out all the factors what you really want to do is is break this number up as a product of primes okay so so break this up as a product of primes and then uh, and then from from the list of primes then uh, you you can then find out all the factors so let, let me give you an example so when when looking at this you, you can well it's an even number so i know i could use 2 but uh but i can also use 10 because if i divide by 10 it will give me a whole number instead of using 2 by the way i could use 2 but uh i am going to use 10 and 195 the 10 i can break up the 10 as a 2 times a 5 um so 2 times 5 is 10 uh 19195 uh, well i I can break this up as a five times a something, okay? Because because if you look at the last digit here, it's a five. So it's it's quite useful to have um, to have some sort of uh, some sort of idea of the first few number pri the first few primes, okay? So so try to remember uh, the well at least up to here at least, okay? So um, so here oh, let, let, let me do this again. Visualize this as um, as ten. Times one nine five, and then visualize a ten as a two times a five. Now visualize this as a five times a something. So uh, one nine five. I know I can divide it by five. So let's do this. Uh, Nineteen divided by five without going over would be three. Remainder four. So forty five. Forty five divided by five would be nine. So this thing here would be five times thirty nine. The thing is, I can break the 39 up as a, a 3 times uh, times a 13. Okay, 3 3 times 13. Yeah. Um, so so here, uh, all these here are primes. Okay, all these are all, all these here are primes. So one 100 and so 1950. We we can visualize that as a uh, as a a, a two. Times a five, times a five, times a three, times a thirteen. Okay. Um. So so all these are um. So so all these are primes. And and if if you get the product of all these primes, it should give you this. Uh, um. Nice to put these in order. So so two would be your first prime. Three would be your next one. Times a five, times a five, times a thirteen. Now. If you want to know all the um, all the uh, factors, well, two would be a factor, three would be a factor, five would be a factor, thirteen would be a factor. Now let's combine these. Now this and this, so six would be a factor. Let's combine this. Uh, uh, Ten would be a factor. Uh, let's combine these two. It's pointless combining the five because we just we just did it with with this five. Uh, so two times uh, thirteen. So that's uh, 26. 26 would be a factor. Okay, now let's start combining the 3 and the 5. So 15 is a factor. Uh, 3 and a, uh, and a 13. So uh, thir 39 would be a factor. Now let's, let's, start, let's start combining um, more, than, more than two blocks. So let's combine this, this, and this. So, th so that would be 6 times 5. 30 would be another factor because if you combine these three blocks here, 2 times 3 times 5, that equals 30. So th if you combine three blocks, it, it gives you 30. Um, maybe you can combine uh, uh, 2, 3, and 13. 2, 3, and 13. Uh, so that would be uh, 2 and 3 would be 6 times 13. So that would be 
uh, 18 carry the 1, 6, 7, 78 will be a factor. If, if, you, if you don't believe me, then, then get your calculator, punch in 1950 divided by 78. That should give you a whole number. And maybe you can start combining all four. Maybe you can combine all four of these. So, so 5 times 5 will be 25 times, times uh, 2 times 3, which is 6. So this here should be another factor. So 30 carry the 3, um, 12, 15. So 150 is, a, uh, is another factor. Okay, if, if you do this, it comes to 150. Um, maybe you can start combining these four. Okay, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4. That will give you another factor. Okay, and, and so on. Okay, so, so now it's your turn to have a go. 150. So uh, uh, 2 won't be a factor. Um, so don't use a 2. Break this up as, uh, as maybe, well, look at this here. There's a 5 here. So that's, that's a clue. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so, um, so 175. Let's break this up as a 5. We, we know it's going to be 5 times something. So let's, let's do uh, 175 divided by 5. So uh, this 17 divided by 5 without going over would be 3 remainder 2. Now it's 25 divided by 5, that's 5. So visualize 175 as uh, 5 times 35. So let's break up the 35 as, as 5 times 7. Okay, so, so th uh, these are your, your prime, your primes. So, so you can visualize it as uh, 1 uh, 175 equals uh, 5 times a 5 times a 7. So if you want to know all the factors, well, 5 would be a factor, 7 would be a factor. Let's combine these two. 25 would be a factor. Um, and uh, 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 this here, a 5 and a 7, that would be um, uh, uh, th 30, 35, and then, and then, um, yeah, I think that's about it. You, uh, five and a seven, five and a five, uh, seven, yeah, uh, so, so, oh, and, and also you, you could say one, seven, five is a factor, and one's a factor as well. Okay, so here's another one. Not, not another one, that's it. Okay.